very good morning students i hope that good morning good morning good morning everyone good morning ma'am good morning ma'am so let's start our computer class with chapter 5 in our earlier classes we had completed chapter 4 up to chapter 4 we had completed and our term one portion is up to chapter 6 understand our term one portion is up to chapter 6 from 1 to chapter 6 so we are completed up to chapter 4 i think or om singh we are completed up to chapter 4 vaibha who can tell me can you please remind me ma'am i think we are completed we are completed chapter 4 i think chart in ms excel no ma'am exactly yes yes she anjali we had completed chapter 4 or not charts i think we had completed ma'am completed chapter 4 chart ma'am completed chapter 4 chart was completed uh, uh, up to chart chart in ms excel we had completed in our last class i think we have written question answers also We have written question answers also of that chapter, isn't it? Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have completed the book. Yes. Thank you so much for telling me this. Now, uh, so let's complete. Let's start chapter five. Advanced features of MS Excel. Let me show you your ebook so that it will be easier for you all. I hope you all have book. Do you have book? Who don't have book? Who don't have computer book? Can you tell me? Shraddha Patel. Only Shraddha don't have book. Everybody have, I think. Else, let me show you that. I hope you all can see the screen over here. Yes, ma'am. Advanced features of MS Excel. this is the chapter advanced feature of ms excel and uh, in this chapter we will study about sorting data sorting data filtering data and we will study in this chapter about some formulas as well how to put formula i think yes filters no not formula in this chapter filters removing filters sorting data we will study about all these things so i wish roy start reading the chapter please from page number 16 5.1 sorting data sorting means to arrange data either in ascending or descending order in an excel worksheet the rows serves as record and the columns as feed we can sort a list using single as well as multi field 5.1.1 short shorting data using single fields you have a list of indian medals winner in the <coughs> commonwealth games 2018 suppose you want to sort the names of the winners in alphabetical order to do the to do so performance the following step first select a cell in the name column second go to the home tab third click click the down down or over next to the sort and filter button in the editing group it it show different sorting options first to sort the list in ascending order click sort a to z option second to sort the list in the dis in the descending order click z to a option fourth click to sort a to z option fifth 
the shorter data appears as shown in figure 5.2 5.1.2 shorting data using multiple fields in case you want to short the data using some other rather than the name field you need to custom short short option to do so performance the following step first select stop ayush Baba, start reading. Do you know okay, ma'am. Where you have to read? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. First, select a cell in a name column. Second, go to the home tab. Third, click the down arrow next into next to the start, short and filter button in the editing group. It shows different shorting options. Fourth, click the custom short option. The short dialog box appears. Six in the dialog box, click the column list arrow and select the field E dot G dot medal. E Seventh. G means. E dot G. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. E dot G means. Okay, ma'am. E dot G means. Anybody can tell? Ma'am, example. Sorry. Can you please repeat? Example. Yes, exactly. That means. Example. Example. E dot G means example. Understand? Okay, ma'am. Example is. Seventh. Similar. Seventh. Similarly, click the short on list arrow and select a condition. E dot G value. Example. Then click. Okay, ma'am. Example value. Then. Eight. Then click the order list arrow and select the condition example A to Z. Ninth. Click the OK button. Tenth. Your shorted data appears as shown in Figure five point five. Stop. Filtering data. Stop. Stop. Mahin Kumari. Start reading five point two. Filtering data. Is she in the class or not? Yogesh Bajaj. Let's move the sorting. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now move to the next topic, which is uh, filtering. Con padega. Filtering. Then against it, deselect. Step seven. Click the OK button. Step eight. The filtered list will appear as shown in the figure five point nine. Stop. Kabi. Removing filters. Stop. Kabi. Start cleaning. And I will. Removing filter, Kabir. Yes, ma'am. If you can't find specific data in a worksheet, it may be hidden by a filter. So we needed to remove the filter. To remove a filter from a specific column, first click the filter button next to the column he heading. Second, then click a clear filter from co column name. Next, to remove Yeshi. filter Stop. from. Yeshi, start reading from page number 66. To remove filter from all columns. Start reading from there. To remove filter from all columns, first go to data tab. Go to the data tab and then click the clear button in the uh, short group. Um, start rex. Uh, create a worksheet with the name, birth name, birth month, birth year, and star sign of twenty. 
that's not important to read key terms of your read key terms okay ma'am key terms first filter a quick way to find a set of data in a range second storing an arrange arrange it's not a storing of data it's sorting it's not storing it's sorting 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 an arrangement of data based on dif uh, different query stop now so here let's find out that how to how to arrange how to put a uh, filter data filter uh, filtering data option how to put filtering data option in our excel sheet so here you can see i made a sheet uh, samples if you are not asking anything just mute yourself understand and on your camera if you are in class I hope you all can see this column on your screen, which I made these boxes. Yes, ma'am. So here, how can we put filter option? Section sheet. There is an option of sort and filter. It's in the editing group. In the editing group, there is option sort and filter. So for put to put filter option, we just have to select whole cell. Understand? We have to select whole cell, and then we have to put filter data from here. You can see filter is here. Now, for filtering them, like if I want to, if I want that how many students took part in cricket, I will click here in this drop down arrow, and here I just will select. i will select after clicking here i will select 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 all and then i just will select cricket option and okay only the students which has tick which have taken part in cricket they are here these students took part in cricket they are here clear now if i want to select i want to look that how many students took part in boxing thank you i can see that how many students took part in boxing then again i think if i want to uh, know that how many students took part in badminton now uh, here i will click and i will see that two students took part in badminton again i will select all and all the students will be now here in medals if i want to find out that how many students got gold i will select here select all and then just click in gold and okay Then the students who got gold will be here, will appear here. Understand? Again, if I want to find out that how many students got bronze, I will click on bronze only and OK. And the students who got bronze will appear here. I hope you understood filtering data as well. So much we have learned about that how to put it, how to manage it. Yes, ma'am. Ah, yeah. I hope that very good. Now move to the next topic, which is removing filter. Now again, how to remove filter? For removing filter, you just have to click here. And again, you just have to click here. And again, we have to click in the sort option. Go to filter and click here in the filter option. It will disappear. Filter is removed. Can you see that? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's very simple. I hope that you all understood that how to insert filter option and remove filter option. How to sort data from alphabetical order to increasing order and decreasing order of alphabetical. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am.
for students let's move to fill in the blanks of this chapter i hope you understood this chapter properly very well and i hope that you don't <coughs> ma'am yes webo the answer answer first is shorting wait wait, wait. let me let me explain this first of all so i hope that you all don't have any doubt related to this chapter this chapter is very easy and very small so now now let yes. fill in the blanks of this chapter so the first question is dash is a arrangement of data either is ascending or descending order answer tell me can i'm shorting Ma'am, shorting. Ma'am, shorting. Yes, yes, exactly. Shorting. Write right down. Shorting. After this chapter, there is an interesting chapter. Yes, it is interesting chapter. It is the computer. Answer is. हेलो हाँ बोलिए माइक हाँ बोलिए तो लगा रहे हैं ना हाँ मेरे को तो लगा रहे हैं 